Hello there everybody, Steampunk Gentleman here. Very excited to bring you Final Fantasy VII The Remake. Now, while this may be considered a cardinal sin amongst gamers, especially from my timeline, I have not played Final Fantasy VII, the PS1 game. I have played Crisis Core, which takes place beforehand, where you play Zek Fair. So, I don't really know too much about the story beats within this game, aside from, you know, the big ones, like, you know, Aerith dies, Cloud cross dresses, you fight Sathoroth, that kind of stuff. I, but I do know what happens beforehand, and I hear some of the story has been changed around, so it's going to upset me if they've changed some of what Zack did and what I experienced playing as him. But otherwise, I got open mind, I'm excited to play this, and I hope you're excited to join me on this adventure. Let's begin. Uh, default. We'll attack an event automatically, allowing you to focus on exit commands. It's easy. Yeah, let's go normal. Yeah, very, very excited to finally get this. It took all weekend for it to download. So right now it is uh, Sunday 2 p.m. over here in Japan. Uh, while I do get it, uh, it's not too fun that Sony had to slow down the downloads, especially when this, this big boy dropped. But so be it, we're here now. Is that Steam? Is that Steam in a game that Steampunk gentleman's actually playing? Well, this may be a first, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Aerith. You know, it was so cool getting to play Crisis Core and like, just learning everything about her, like seeing a younger Aerith, Aerith and her relationship with Zack Bear. Like the little missions about you know helping her sell out her flowers to the slums and other stuff like knowing where Cloud's sword comes from and just how much important it, importance it really has. Guards, it was no, it was NGLs. And then, oh man, like his family had to struggle very, very hard to afford it for him when he went into. Uh, I guess when he joined Shinra or whatever, soldier. Oh man, look at those graphics. That is one thing that Final Fantasy has always been able to put out. It is some good graphics. Yeah, because like, I joined... So I might not play a lot of Final Fantasy 7, I did play some 8, but it was mainly a Final Fantasy 10 household we were in. 10 and then 12. That's what we had popping off. And their cutscenes, even 
back then in the early 2000s, they brought it. They have always brought it. Main gameplay, maybe not so much, but... Also, I have not played the demo, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play at all. I have seen no gameplay of this, other than like the screenshots. I do remember this a little bit from the, uh, like the ending video from Crisis Core. Oh man, seeing these guys makes me sad after what happened to Zack. Let me tell you, that's not, it's not a bad look. I like the look. Oh no, it's his buddy. Oh, you chunky. Oh, I relate to you, buddy. I heard there was some... Um, Controversy over this guy's voice. Get down here, murder. Oh man, the sword, the look. He took Zach's clothes, I believe. Square to attack, hold square to lose a attack capable of hitting multiple enemies. You're coming, You're coming with us! us. Nice, nice and easy! easy. Don't think so. Nice. I did hear that the they have changed his story up a little bit just in the regards of they made him more of a someone who's experienced trauma versus you know just being too edgy. So I'm excited to see it more fleshed out here. So they were made back in the 90s, of course. Some names were Genrise and uh, the the ATB gauge fills as time passes by attacking a square. Once the bar is full, your action performs special action. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking the enemy. Fill the gauge. Freeze! Move and leave me alone. Let's go ahead. We're going to extend ATB ga gauges, charges to perform attack command, battle command, such as abilities, magics, or items. Press X to try using commands. Enough of this. Took the air and struck a foe with a powerful attack. Hmm. What does this triangle do? Checking that outside of battle. In that battle, you can check the map, open menus, and view various kinds of information. Use options and press that button to access map and various objectives. Got it. I can appear as move to automatically jump, crouch before my action is required. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh man, not gonna pay your toll. <laughs> Drop, Drop the weapon. weapon! You got you this. Got this. Yeah, yeah, what he said. Yeah, wedge. Oh man, I don't. Don't make me relate to wedge. I'm working on my push-ups. You can defend against enemy attacks by pressing R1 to guard and circle to evade. Cool, cool. A successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB. You're coming with us! Four. I only use the flat blade to help reduce wear and tear. And stop the rust. Cloud. <laughs> Start going vroom vroom edge. It was sad to see. I guess he leaves the sword behind at the end of this game. 
but he left it at the what was supposed to be the barrel site for Zack. It's all rusted and stuff like that's not what he would have wanted. Triangle to open chests and doors or talk to people. If you see the word hold, then you need to hold down rather than just pressing. And I do know this only contains. Oh, nice. Only about 10 to 15 percent of the story, but there should still be plenty of content to it. So I'm excited for that. I don't think we've ever seen it. I mean, there's been episode releases, but nothing on this grand scale, I think. If you find boxes with the Shimmer logo, press square to smash them with your sword. They may contain con useful items. Okay. Yeah! Alright. What was that? I, bet, I guess this is definitely cooler than just uh, turn-based combat. Get some small so legs, Wedge. Soldier Boy's deal. Is he one of us now? He's got balls. This. Uh, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, you got a pretty eyes, fat boy. You'll do the work at As long as you pay me. <laughs> you pay me, I'll do what you want. Are they gonna tell me that he actually was soldier, but then like, he saw something terrible and made him stop? Like, I really hope they don't write off Zack Fair entirely. Or like they just make him a mentor. Because he used to be like you know, he was a gunsman, he was not big old sword wielded. Come on, nobody, nobody do something, something this crazy, crazy just, just for money. money. They, they may not think not you're a true believer, believer, but you know you what know I what think. I'm interested. Huh? Oh Wedge, you're such a sweetheart. A bleeding heart. <laughs> That's the thing. Ah, uh, yeah, they did it. They did the thing. They made the cover. Gratuitous fan service. Uh, okay, are three locked on. Uh, while locking the target, use R or <coughs> D pad to switch. Cool. Get him, boy. Classic stuff. I don't see why people would be saying this is a very tough game. A modernized action game, hack and slash. And this this dog is tough. Yeah, if I got slapped around with this, I I, I want to make 50 pound, if not 100 pound sword. I think I'd be a little staggered too. go from mercenary to delivery boy? That's my question.
What would y'all do if I wasn't here? That's a cool dog design, though. They put in the brainstorm instead of the head. They still don't explain what puncture mode is. Maybe I should bring that out after I do if I stagger. Uh, said heavy attack versus operator mode. So I think upward mode may be the normal one. Maybe stagger mode, like it completely focuses on attack. So after you stagger somebody, you use that just to lay down the pain. Pain. That I'm sure. <laughs> Now, if you can't play other action games at all, especially something like Bloodborne, I don't think you're gonna have much trouble with this. And so far, this doesn't feel too difficult. Uh, game journalists can go fuck themselves. That may be something I end up doing when I get out. Like, I write articles for a living, and I definitely know how to game. Wedge, what are you... Wedge, what are you doing? Are you securing the position? You taking up the rear fat boy? Soldiers may attack that command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above my storage? Ain't holding out on me, are you? Are you? Stab scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little dog? Have it your way, bud. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. I don't, I don't see what would be wrong with his voice. Damn, Damn good. good. Who's there? Door! Door. <laughs> Scared about the hand that feeds him. I've been, wait, wait. I've been killing these dudes. It's over. That's, That's my line. line. <laughs> That's kind of edgy. Uh, every character has a unique ability, which you enter a triangle. When cloud motion ability, you can switch between bounce operating as attack oriented punch mode. Try it out. He's alone. Punch mode, cloud moves slowly, but with but square unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against a melee attack. He cannot have a guard against range attack or magic. When you evade such attacks, you switch back to operate mode. Okay. We can take it. Okay, so that's definitely good for just taking down the easy ones. Where are you, Wedge? Simmer down, Hotcha. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? You're pretty. I'm good. I like brown eyes. Careful in there. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm doing a lot more than you guys are, so I don't want to hear it. Security is only going to get tight, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Nobody's been hurt. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? <laughs> so 
So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Your clown was supposed to be from a small country town. I think someone <laughs> kind of did it. Are you yeah. ignoring me? Tifa and I. appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. Why you sleep, why you eat, why you sit, it's here sucking up Marco. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Oh yeah, I heard that the uh, big guy, Garrett, I think it is. He's all about like it's because he has kids and Our stuff. On the line now. It doesn't make sense. Trying to save the planet for the future generations. You listening, Merc? One, One false, false move. move, and that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. Just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Barrett Wallace, join the party. Specialized in range attacks, holding down square releases, sustained burst of all night fire when equipped with rain weapon. Barrett can fire from safe distances, hit enemies that cloud cannot reach with his sword. Gonna throw your sword out of That's the man with the gun. These 10 cans ain't got nothing on me. First shining one control better deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of the HP gauge. Once a leech takes a long time recharge attack, press the triangle hover will speed the process. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issue orders to party allies. Up and down, switch characters L2, R2 to issue command. Good 
Fucking birdie, is damage taken. Nice banter. Look what we have here. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. I I exactly. I know lasers. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. You can move around outside battle more quickly by holding R1 or R2 to dash. Or you can press L3 to once keep dashing until you stop moving. I'll probably just hold down. He got... He got stunk. Yeah, some of us. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't take over as him. You're doing good, soldier. Some of us are. Okay, I can't dodge roll <coughs> outside of combat. I shouldn't win. Shut up. Don't mind me, woman. Certain attacks or dealing large amount of damage will temporary pressure to appear underneath the gauge. Tap in, help them with spells and abilities quickly fill their stagger gauge on the life bar. Once it is full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the, the abilities and magic use, as well as the fills of our abilities. Hey! Let's get it down! Give it all you got! It just had to get back up. Can we knock it down again. No time to complain. Enemies who are staggered are defense to take more damage, use unique abilities. Yeah, so. Now's our chance. Go! You need to heal me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. I mean, I can definitely say that with some steampunk aesthetics to it. Make call to diesel pump. Soldier first class doesn't go into the twins. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I, uh, Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Guess that makes you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! Don't make fun of him. Yeah, 
Okay, so it's definitely, unless he's like just completely absorbed sex memories, he definitely sounds like he was actual soldier in this game. But then again, I don't know how the original went, so maybe you could have said the same thing. The reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. I can't understand why some people be upset if they changed how the story went. Now yeah, for so long. But part of me is also like um not for twenty plus years. Sometimes you can just you can see a better way that the story could be told. There's other things like, you know, after you make something you wish you had a chance to redo it and this remaking games like this, especially when they go all out. Is exactly how is a perfect opportunity to redo it. So yeah, you can be upset. It's not quite. You can still have your memories, but but be open to it in case it is better told. Go back up. Was it? You're a dummy. Bitch. You're choosing me over the reactor. That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. I got time for both. Oh, I gotta heal up. What do you want to say topped off? I wonder if they explain how he lost his hand. Like, did he decide to remove it in favor of having a gun? Oh, I'm not gonna say thank you. Now, this game definitely feels good to play. I am very on that. Okay, it, it reminds me of Crisis Four. That's just really what it reminds me of. Yeah, that's, that's a really good way to look at it. It's like an evolution of how Crisis Core played. Of course, more fluid and all that. You think if we fell in, we sink right down to the bottom? To the planet's core? No. Of ether. Is she falling or is she gonna sit up there? Probably staying up there. Yep, I can see her. This is definitely a hey, boss battle area, though. <laughs> All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! I look like Seth Rock's feather. Pretty, Pretty cocky, cocky, ain't you? 
Oh, that's gonna be determined by the boss battle. Oh no. Oh no. You can double cross it. Heads up. What the hell? Oh man, this game's cool. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning matching. <laughs> no other option. Huh? Shit. Uh, should I be Bring it Oh, he does have thunder. Hell yeah! You see the damage I did? Keep it up. Okay, so I got up. It's my time to shine. <laughs> or go down to flames. Gotta do something about that barrier first. Because bind your attack amazing because there's bound on out quickly switch to a different character. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Help me out, damn it! There! Attack it from the rear! I soldier boy! Show me what you got! From the rear? Okay. Keep it together. I'll be your back door man. Don't do that to me. As soon as I stagger, it definitely gets back up there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Watch the tail! You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit! Take cover behind that debris. Fire 
this again. Why can I not do anything? I do. I've been using clouds. Military uh, grade armor and reactor. Second enemy fills your limp gauge, you can use limp breaks. Hold out a team spotted open. Okay, so it only hits after. I thought I was like on this timer for the entire thing. <laughs> you hear that? Damn, Damn thing showed you how it's done. done. Come, on, Come on, we've got to move. All right, guys, I'm going to pause and stop this episode right here. Thank you for watching this first episode of Final Fantasy VII. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Share it out with your friends and sub if you want to see more. Until the next episode, 
Steampunk out.